Good morning guys, it's that time of the a week. It's Sunday, it's car boot sale time. It's 20 past 7 right now. We're virtually going to be heading out the door in about 5-10 minutes time. We're just feeling out the door before we go. Weather at the moment is very foggy. It's going to start raining about roughly about 11 o'clock. It says on my weather. But we live near the sea so the weather always changes. Always bloody changes. So, you never know, but about 11 o'clock it's going to rain, but at the moment it's foggy. But it doesn't stop the car booters around here, they still come out in their forces. Two car boot sales today, so yeah, hopefully there'll be a few bargains. I can hear Dave just coming up, um, and I will take you guys with us to see what we can get. There's Dave, he's just coming in to get himself sorted. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to the one round the corner first, aren't we? Gaywood, yeah. Yeah, Gaywood and then Knights Hill. So <coughs> fingers crossed there'll be some bargains, but like I say, it's foggy out there at the moment, but it's not too bad, it's not too cold, but then again, that's warm in here, it might be cold out there, so I'm going to make sure I've got a big jacket on today, because I haven't been feeling too good this morning when I woke up, so I need to keep warm. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> got to look out for your man now, haven't we? Right, so we've been around this car boot sale. We've got a few things here. There was a store that was actually selling everything for 50p. Um, so Dave's got a few bits in there. Um, he did go to another store and they had some nice good cheap stuff as well. Another bag there. I bought some board games. I don't know if they're worth anything, but yeah. Board games. This is from the other car boot sale. I will do a haul for you guys, so I will show you when we get there back home. But I had to bring it back to the car because it's aching on my arm. Um, carrying games. So yeah, it's quite busy. There's quite a few cars there. We just found there's another one somewhere else, so we might pop to that one as well. Um, which we didn't know about, but yeah. I'm just going to pop to another store that we were originally were at where I bought a load of 50p stuff. I said they were going to pop back there because they were still getting stuff out. But yeah, as you can see, it's really busy now. They've even opened the field up now for the car park. So, awesome, awesome. I haven't spent that much actually. I think I've only spent £1.50 so far. That's the most I've spent. So yeah, so I'm going to go back and see what else I can get. Oh, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got one of them today. How much did you pay, Dave? I oh, paid right. 50p for that. So I don't know. It might be. It might sell. You never know. If not, I should put it on now and again. Got one of these. Ever ready? Front light for a bike. Believe it or not, 50p I paid for that. All over the places for uh, the prices. Uh, anything for about £15-ish. <laughs> Lovely, jumbly. Uh, I seem to always buy these. I think they all get them out when they see me coming, but... Uh, that was 50p. This is all off the same finger, actually. Uh, can't really find one. Well, if I'd be on one was the United States, that was 384 or something. So I don't think I'll be booking my Mercedes just yet on the proceeds from that, but never mind. I like it. I bought a robot arm. 50p. Watch, watch, watch. Oh. Didn't realise I had to have a remote with it, but I might be able to pull it apart and sell it as spares or something. You never know. Lovely gummy. It's upside down, honey. Yeah, I know, that was just testing. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Mini tablet. 
like a little writing pad thing. Fifty P. Then it just writes on it. Not one of my best days really, but all good fun. Three or four car boots. This was good, 10 p each. Um, air fresheners, there's three in a pack, 10 p each. 10 p a pack. Always handy for us when we buy furniture and that. Carpet, whatever, stick them in there for a couple of days and that. Bring them back to life. So that's nice. That's the case for the camera. 50p again. A wooden brain bender. Might get a fire for that, but I don't know. And I think, oh no, I'm one of these. A snooker school board. That has to be one of my favourite of your buys, actually. 50p? Just needs a bit of TLC, doesn't it, on the top and the corner. I don't know, Don. That's like Patina. I thought you was going to say that. <laughs> I think you'd ruin it trying to do it out. But this is all brass. I like it. Um, yeah, 50p. I could possibly get a ten pound note for that, and a bit of luck. Fifty p. I thought you paid a pound for that one. No, fifty p. All right. Who's doing this video? Cheeky <laughs> <laughs> bugger. <in. laughs> right, with my fifty p snooker thing, I'll open to get about a tenner for that. Is that your best buy out of all that this is stuff? My best buy, yeah. I, imagine. I, I think that's your favourite. Oh well, I don't know. And this, because that could that could be up to fifteen pound plus postage, which is absolutely ridiculous. But that's what it says on the salt rings. And I knew they was worth a few bob, but I didn't realise quite that much. I'm going to put this down now. But that's me. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again. Bye bye. So guys, these are my items that I bought from the car boot sale. Um, I think I spent roughly fifty one, one fifty, two fifty, about three pound ten. I've got a dog right underneath me looking at me when I'm talking to you guys. So if I keep looking down, it's because Edie wants attention, and I have to keep stroking her now and then. All right, Missy. <sighs> right. So I think I only got one lot of stuff actually from the car boot sale that's just virtually around the corner of my favourite lady called Nan. And I bought two items from her and she only charged me <coughs> 50p for the two. So I was really pleased. So this one is actually for us. I really like this. It's a hook. I think I'm going to put it in the downstairs toilet because I've got a bit of a French... What do you want? You want to go out? Let me just let her out. <laughs> I don't know what my dog's playing up, but there you go. Um, so yeah, I've got a bit of a French thing going in the downstairs toilet. I have French pictures and everything in there, which were my mother-in-law's and that. So um, I've been sort of going around that theme. So I don't know why, this reminds me a bit of a, a French kind of thing. These were brought to the lay, um, to Nan by a lady who you obviously just... Like, a lot of people bring her stuff to re resell, on, you know, just give her it kind of thing. Um, Dave said like she she really doesn't want the stuff, but people just keep bringing it to her. But um, I picked this up. It says Rose Savon for health and beauty. But I just thought that'd be quite cool as a little hook in the downstairs toilet. You know, I don't know why, but I just liked it. So I picked that up alongside some curtains, which I watch a lady on eBay who sells sort of oldie vintage curtains and aprons and things like that which 
I have actually started selling myself so I just grabbed these they're not very long but I like the pattern on them there is a label in them which I will find where is it here it is I don't know if it's an old label let's have a look I can't really see what it says oh Katina that's funny it's my sister's name Tina Katina Curtains never heard of that name before <coughs> but um I will undo them and stretch them out so that people can see you don't have to have them like that. You can have them stretched out. But I thought they were quite nice. They're very thin, but they'll do for like a window that doesn't need thick windows. And like I said, I only paid 50p for the set, so I was really, really pleased. Then we went to Night Seal next. And I grabbed a few bits out of Night Seal. So the first things I grabbed was a couple board games. Um, didn't know anything about these this one's called The Night Before Christmas what I'm doing is I'm grabbing books and things to do with Christmas to make like a bundle up for selling nearer to Christmas time for someone to buy for a child or something so I put this game up which was 50p I don't know if it's all there yet I haven't checked but I will in a minute um, but it looks virtually brand new I don't think it's done much at all like there's no dents or anything on it so that's good but this one which I'm really pleased about and I showed Dave this one I don't know nothing about this game I've never seen this game before it's called Who Knows Where um, I think some of it's brand new and still sealed in its wrapper some of it has been opened up but I've just checked on eBay and it was about 20 quid wasn't it Dave? Yeah, 20, nearly 25 was the top, wasn't it? £25 for this board game. I could just say, she had lots of board games, didn't she? Yeah, she did. I did check the others as well, but these ones, <coughs> I, think I only picked these ones up because they look new and that. I went, and I did check a few of the others. But I only paid 50p for that one as well, so I am well chuffed. Again, I've got to check to make sure it's all there, because you never know. But I did have a quick look, and it did look like a lot of it was there. So that in itself is a bonus. That one's going to get done. Um, I've just got to go and pick up what's just fallen down. And I'll show you that one. One that I got. I think I, I don't know why I picked it up. I just liked it. She had one that was opened. And um, she said to me they came from America when they lived over there. <laughs> You're alright. Dave getting excited over the laptop because he's trying to sort that robot hand out that he was looking at earlier so they've got a massive bag full of them so this is the bag <coughs> I would say there's about 20 20 plus in there there's all different sizes there's little ones and then she pointed out there's big ones and they are from USA that actually got USA on them and they are little bells if I just try and open this one up to show you guys I can show you then there we go I've just done it so this is what they look like. They're little bells. I presume it, you can use them for either weddings or Christmas. You've got the USA. If you could just see really, really carefully. It's got the USA on them. Um, the lady said they used to live in America. And they bought them from America. And then brought them back with them. Um, so there's, they're really cute. I think more wedding advice for me. Than Christmas I'm not sure I haven't looked these up I don't know if they're old or what but there is quite a lot of them I need to try and keep them all nice and flat because they are getting a bit bent in the bag that they had them in but I paid a whole pound for the whole bag so I was really really pleased you can see this rope on there and that so yeah I was really pleased with that one very excited about that one I think that was probably one of my favorites and then the last one is the last car boot so there weren't much in that one was there Dave see the door one so I picked these up 20p a packet, um, there were three packets there of three different colours but I can't remember what I decorated my kitchen tree as last year so I thought oh well I'll pick the three colours up and what I don't want I can give away or whatever so I picked the white ones, white and silver Then, but these are really nice, I call these chocolate, like chocolate colours and then sort of berry colours so I picked them up for 20p each 
and just like Dave, I picked seven, no, Dave picked seven, I picked five of these up. I actually told Dave about these and then he went and bought the rest. So I picked five of these up for 10p each. Um, again, they're ideal for putting in my wardrobe. Furniture just like Dave is, hanging up in the cupboards, things like that. So we've got plenty now, won't we? <laughs> Even the car, as our son just said. But yeah, that was basically it. There wasn't that much. To be honest, but we are betting we we are betting getting better, aren't we? Not picking r stuff for the sake of it now. Mm. Like we were pick generally, we used to just pick stuff up for the sake of it because it was cheap or whatever, and then go home and find out it's not worth anything. So we are getting much better re sourcing what we want. So yeah, I'm pleased with it. I think my favourite has to be the board game. This one. If it's all there and it's worth 20 quid, I think that's going to be my favourite. And I think like Dave's favourite is the two things that he showed you, which was the lamp and the snooker scoreboard thing. So yeah, hope you like this video. Give us a thumbs up if you do. Please subscribe to see more if you want to see more. We upload videos every week, either auctions, haul, hauls from shopping, etc. And follow us on the Instagram, both our Instagrams are down below. And we will see you very, very soon for another video. Bye. Lovely.